With the league becoming more accepting of shorter players every year, the advantage for taller players continues to grow. Johnny Wilson certainly has one of the biggest advantages in the league. How does the rest of his game stack up? Find out in this 2 minute drill. Wilson is a walking mismatch, being listed at a gigantic 6'7 and 237 pounds. It's hard not to notice him on the field, Wilson towers over most corners. You would expect a player with Wilson's build to be a vertical threat, constantly mossing opponents, but Wilson is most effective in the middle of the field. He is an advanced route runner who is able to use nice footwork to separate from his coverage and use his big body to provide an easy target for his QB. With his height and decent long speed, Wilson was also used as a vertical threat. He used his long length to catch balls while outside most receivers range. Wilson's height gives him a natural advantage downfield as well on 50-50 balls. He can simply get up and make catches that are impossible to defend. Wilson's size also gives him a huge advantage against press. His strength and length makes him very tough to jam with the line and he's able to squeeze some space for himself on routes. Wilson is a very refined receiver. He has a nice release package and pops well off the line for someone his size. For the negatives, Wilson really struggled with drops. Specifically, focus drops really hinder him, but Wilson's catching technique also needs a lot of work. While he was used as a field stretcher a fair amount, Wilson was unable to separate consistently and wasn't always the best in using his size to his advantage on contested catches. For a pro comp, Wilson reminds me of Brandon Coleman. Coleman was another huge receiver with decent straight line speed and good blocking ability, but struggled with catching and separation. For a draft range, Wilson is a very specific scheme fit. He's not someone you can just draft to any team and use his size to attack defenses downfield. He works best as a mismatch guy on a team with an accurate QB who can utilize his unique gifts to maximize his talents. He can line up out of the slot to beat defenders in the middle of the field, or as a traditional outside receiver who can use his length and strength to defeat press coverage. Whatever the role, a team will need to have a solid vision for Wilson's future, which is why, despite Wilson's extraordinary physical traits, I think he'll go somewhere on day two. And that's the two minute drill.